Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a review of the Baby B. Now I believe, I've, I've done some research and I believe that this is the Baby B Rover. Just full stop, the Rover. There is a new Baby B Rover 19, which is the newer one out. It doesn't have like the white straps on the wheels. That's probably the easiest thing to tell them apart. The white straps being down here. Um, anyway, so we're not doing the 19, we're just doing the Baby B Rover as like a second hand pram, which is how I do all of my reviews. It is a brand that is coming up in the world. That's why I got it. I wanted to see how this compares to some of my brands that I really love. Okay, let's get into it. Starting out, this is just a single pram, so it only has the capacity of one child in it at all times. It's designed just for one child. I actually found this on the side of the road and I recovered it because I wanted to see what it was like. I wanted to um, see how it compared to the brands that I like, like I said. It is really stylish, like for what it is. They're an Australian branded company. They basically make the prams themselves and ship them to you, taking out all of the middle, middle man, um, the shops and stuff like that. And that's why they're a little bit cheaper. So you can buy this pram with just a, a stroller, like so a seat and a frame, or you can buy it with the seat, the bassinet, and the pram frame. You can also get adapters for a maxi cozy capsule, which I've only got one. <laughs> so I can't show you how that works, but I, I, it does have an adapter. Let's go from here, let's go start from the bottom up. Wheels are just like a plasticky foam, so they're not the foam filled, which is okay. It still pushes really nicely. I went for two walks, mostly on footpaths, I must say. <laughs> uh, some of it was, you know, on the grass where we um, you know, had to go around things and it still pushed really nicely. Um, big wheels at the back, small at the front. I really like this feature at the front. Uh, instead of clicking it or doing anything, um, sliding it, you just press a button at the front and it actually locks the wheels in place for if you're wanting to go on heavy terrain or whatever, which I actually did when I was, um, walking on the grass, we, it was so windy that I actually locked the front wheels to push it because it just kept pushing me to the side with the swivel wheels. So I think that's a really good feature and it's so easy to um, lock them and unlock them. Very easy, nice remo um, removability. It's really light, this pram. Like, it is one of the lighter prams on the market for sure. What I think that we seem to forget is a lot of prams are now doing the single to double capacity so you can have one child in it but later on you can have a second child in it and that means the frames are bigger which means the frames and prams are heavier in general. So having a single pram, it's light, it's brilliant, I love it. Let's go back down here. <laughs> so the basket, I actually find the basket is a really good size and it's quite easy to get into. Depending on where the seat position is, it, it doesn't matter. It's easy to get in. Um, because it's a little worn, um, it has had probably a few too many kilos in it. Again, I don't know where the, came, the pram came from. I think it was well loved and pretty decently looked after. Um, it does have um, a little bit of a, a scratch in the bottom. Uh, like on the bottom, how like it's dragged, something too heavy is being there or something like that. But other than that, it's really good. You have your suspension in the back, so if you lean on it, oh, <laughs> if you lean on it, you can see suspension. There's big like springs down there. The brakes quite easy on off one um, flick of your foot, and it's the red Australian standard red brake. The frame is beautiful and matte black. It had a few scratches on it, but I took to it with a, a, a can of spray paint. So if you owned this and got a few scratches in it and went and bought a matte black can of spray paint from Bunnings and really carefully sprayed over it, big dings and scratches can be removed. So I appreciate that. And um, going up, I guess we're probably at the seat now. So let's do the seat. Now it is a decent sized seat. You've got the 
adjustable footrest. So right down if you wanted to fold it. And oh my fingers aren't working that way. And right up for Bob. I will just take the slider out of the way. It is a um, in the bottom here. Sometimes people don't like that. Uh, their babies get like when they're older and walking, their shoes ruin their pram fabric. But this is like a, um, I can't even think of what this is. <laughs> it's like a rubber, rubber kind of material. So it's not going to stay in your fabric if they have stuff on their shoes. Or you can get a pram liner and chuck that in there. And if they dirty up the pram liner or whatnot, you take the pram liner out, chuck it in the washing machine and put it back in for next time. The harness is five point breakaway harness, which I, I love. I don't like anything that's not a five way breakaway harness now. It is probably one of the cheaper harnesses, uh, but it still is does the job. If I could get it to go in, that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it is a cheap harness. I'm not a huge fan, but I would rather this one over any other. <laughs> any other harness that's not a five feet breakaway harness. The seat, I've seen a few people say that it's uh, not the biggest height seat and there's no option to move the canopy up and down because it actually zips on here to the frame. So if you have a tall child, they perhaps may not last in there. Um, you can still use the pram but without the hood. Um, you can see this is how it zips on here. Oh no, sorry, wrong side, on the inside. But it does zip on. It does have an extendable hood. So we have a zipper here that I jumped the gun to. And we've also got this piece at the front. It's like a, um, a hard plastic on the inside, so it keeps its shape. Probably a little bit warped because when you when I washed it, I had to slide it all the way out. Um, so yeah, if you didn't want that, you can fold it in. But if you do want that extra protection, it's also to leave out. Then our, our hood goes all the way down. We have a peekaboo flap with a mesh in the top, um, and then just the extra piece of hood with two little mesh flaps on either side, which I really love. I don't know why, but I just love that. They're trying to make sure that the child is ventilated. The seat adjusts one-handed, so um, three reclines, so sit up, middle, and lying flat. Now to do that, you just lift the handle with one hand and choose where you want it to go. It does feel a little loose now that it's been used for a while because it still works it does all of its jobs but it's just a little bit looser than I would like it to be the prim frame is brilliant it is in um, good condition it's not um, buckling or it's not bent it's not it's really good and sturdy I'm happy with that the adjustable handle is right here one-handed again so squeeze in and adjust to your height preference. So there is three, so the bottom, the middle, and right up the top. Probably a little bit tall took for me, but really good if I want to lean on the prem and walk, which I often do. Um, it does need some weight in it though, so when I put the nappy bag on, I have it sit right here. I'll show you where I put that. So as a general rule, manufacturers of prams say to not hang a nappy bag off your pram because if you hang it up here, it could tip your pram. Depends on how big your nappy bag and what is in it. I don't know, you could you know, lift up and the whole thing could just drop. Although it feels so sturdy with um, this nappy bag here and it is full of clothes and stuff. It's not an empty nappy bag. You can see the weight when I drop it. But anyways, I like to put it down here. Probably should tighten it a little bit more. You also don't want your bag to scratch your frame, so that's probably why it is how it is on here. You can see that it kind of sits on the frame, not even in the basket, just on this back bar. 
you can still access it. It's really easy to get to. It's hung here so it's not going to fall off. And it's not touching the wheel, it's not going to rub. Perhaps put that, that um, handle in so that your brake is accessible to you. Let's put it on short person mode. I like maybe the middle or the lowest setting. <laughs> um, and it pushes fine um, with your baby, your knuckle bag. It, it honestly is awesome. So that's another really cool feature that I like is that your nappy bag is sits, has a little spot, and then you still got your basket. You still have all of this room in here. I mean, you can get to it easy. I think I've got some leaves in here from when I went for a walk. You can access it right in here. So that's two lots of space, which I appreciate. The belly bar has one no, the button either side, but to release it, you push in on the button and pull up. The best thing about this is that it swivel. Now, I don't know what's happened to this particular uh, handlebar cover. I can't even get it off. But the little studs in here are a little bit dodgy. Now, I think a dog may have gotten to this one, or even the child. Someone has eaten or bitten the end of this and it's kind of caused the spring to be a little dodgy in here. But I mean, this one seems to be okay, so I always just must use the one on that side compared to this one. So put that back in there. We love our swivel belly bar covers. It makes it easy to get the baby in and out if you need to. Put that there, put the baby in buckle them in and then put your belly butt cover on. It's awesome. We love that. Um, what else is there? Oh, the seat reverses, of course. So to reverse the seat, we have two buttons either side. It takes two hands, of course. Um, you have to, you, don't think, you can't really sit them one on one, so you do need two hands. Some brands you can click one button, click the other one and lift it with one hand and that is a favourable feature of mine. This one needs two hands but it's not an uncommon feature. A lot of pramps do need the two hands to take the seat up but I like to keep the belly bar on so that I can use it as a handle. So we're going to turn the seat around. So take it off with our two hands and we're just going to line these two up, nice and easy, one, two. It is one of the easier pram frames to line up and slot in, I tell you that much. I appreciate that. Same thing to lay it down is one, two, three. You've got your hood again. Your pram nappy bag, it will sit in a similar spot, so you can put it down, you can put it under the seat like that if you want to, and it will sit back in there. You'll just have to adjust it if you're, you know, going to use the pram this way or if you're going to use the other way. Yeah, it, it's a really nice pram. It's really cool. It has the features for a cheaper price. Um, it's awesome. Let's show you the fold. Now I want to take this mini mats off for a minute, get that out of the way. And I also want to take the nappy bag off and get that out of the way. That's a pain when it's that way. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it a different way, but it is what it is. Okay, to fold our pram, we want to remove the seat. It's up to you where you remove the seat. It, so we're going to take our seat off because it is facing us and not many prams do fold facing you. So two buttons and release. We'll just pop that over here. Sorry, this the wall. <laughs> and to fold, it is a two-handed fold which I'm not a huge fan about, but it's still an okay fold. This is probably the thing I like least about this pram is the fold on it. 
Now it's not a bad fold or anything, it's just that you have to use two hands and I know that there are other prams that you don't have to use two hands for. So there are, yeah, there are also some really nice things about this fold. So if you fold it with the handle up and let the handle touch the ground, it will damage your handle. So make sure that you do always fold it down. I will show you folding it with the handle up. It's kind of annoying because I'm short and I can't get around it. But to fold it, you need to press with your right hand standing behind your right thumb, the gray button on top. With both hands, you're gonna grab the black levers either side. Remember to press the gray button with your right thumb at the same time. So we want to put the brake on. We want to lift. It's just so hard to do it. It's so hard to do it with the handle up. <laughs> we want to lift up and press that button. Now you can see that the handle bar is going to drop on the ground. So it's honestly just easier to put the handle bar down first. Now you can see that I can easily get behind it. Remember that right thumb, press that grey button. Both hands up on the black levers and drop it down. That reflex with my foot, how it touches the handlebar, it tries to grab it. That's because you should never let your handlebars touch the ground, it'll break them. The next thing on the fold is simply grab, I like to grab this frame here, which ends up being the middle frame, and it just pulls it in nice and close together and it locks in place from the mechanism that folds. It will stand there and won't roll away. But to pick it up, I like to pick it up like this and carry the weight. Most of the weight you can see is going to be here at the front. Place it down. And it is the exact same um, way that you folded it to get it back up. So again with the grey button and your thumb and the two black levers. So we're going to squat down. We're going to make sure, you have to make sure that the, uh, the grey button and the, sorry, you have to make sure that the frame is pushed close together because sometimes if it goes too far out it thinks that it's just you know, the locking mechanism gets too far out, it doesn't like it. So we're going to walk it out and we're going to make sure that we keep the buttons pulled in the hallway and stand it up. So how about I show you that in full swing. So maybe from this side. Great button, pull up, drop down. And put it up. So grey button on black levers, push down on levers and walk it up and it snaps out. You can hear how it snaps. You can fold the pram with the seat facing forward but not facing you. So let's put this on facing forward. I uh, will sit it up. And same thing, so grey button, handle. There's our fold. Again, it's uh, it's folded nice and compact. Probably not compact with the seat on it, but that's honestly up to you. I personally don't fold grams like this because it's just heavy. Like, why do you want to carry that? I'd rather fold it and put it in two neat pieces. It also doesn't really stand well. So, and to fold it back up, I don't know how that's gonna be. Me and my short arms. <laughs> It's possible, but I'd rather take the extra time to put the seat on. Uh, give these guys a chance. I honestly think it's a, a decent pram. It has um, all of the things that we're wanting now in, in modern strollers. So it's the it's the sleek black color with the leatherette uh, handlebars in the brown and the leatherette belly bar in the brown. And then you can put whatever pram liner you want in it. Push as well, the suspension's good. The seat could probably be a little bit bigger. The hood is decent size, it's quite large. I like the one-handed movability. I hope that you enjoyed this review. I hope that it helps you purchase a pram. I hope it helps you purchase one of these prams. If you have a look at the Rover 19, 
It is very similar to this pram. They've added some things like a pocket on the back. They've added um, like a, a different little air vent here in the hood. Um, I think the seat's pretty similar. I'm not sure if they've gone bigger or not. I haven't looked into it that far. They've taken the white um, white wall tires. I like to call them white wall because they're like a you know a white circle. I like that about them, you know. I don't know why. I think it's unique and different to this brand. Um, the new Rovers still have the the Rover 19 still have the coloured handlebars. We get them in different colours. Um, other than that, I'm not sure about the extra features, but the, uh, I think that this company is a pretty good company. So definitely, if you're looking on the market for something and you like this design, I would say give them a go. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that this helped you and I'm gonna go now.